Hello everyone and welcome back to another Transformers deck building game video. I had to try the Chaos Unleashed mode again. Uh, spoilers for last time, but I lost pretty badly. <laughs> bad luck, bad, bad tactics and underestimating Unicron when he doesn't have any planets to eat are what cost me. I'm not going to go over how it plays again, so please go watch the last one if you want to be up to date on that because I want to just get stuck in. And on that note, let's just go look at who I'm going to try playing as this time. It's another character from Chaos Unleashed. So we're going to be playing as Galvatron today, aka the crazy version of Megatron that got took over and converted by Unicron. Seemed pretty apt. So in his robot form, he is allowed to battle Decepticons as well as Autobots. When he beats them, you can put them in your vault or in your discard pile. So I don't know why you would want to do that, really, for a Decepticon, but I'm sure we might discover a reason. He can pay one Energon to give a target robot plus two power. He can pay two power during a confrontation to get plus two power. So he is much better getting strong. But his downside is he starts in his alt form and as you may be aware his alt form is a cannon. So he has plus two power at range one and it can only be used for battling not purchasing cards. Robots you have have plus one move but he has no innate move at all so getting around the map is going to be so much more difficult. He starts with the usual ten cards, six basic attacks and then the four uh, special ones. So with that let's get started after this brief word from my channel sponsor. This video is sponsored by Noble Knight Games. Check out the video description below for an affiliate link that will take you through to their store and it will help me out as well. Thanks. So in case you needed an example of how bad this is for Galvatron, my first hand was five of the six bold cards, i.e. your basic attack cards, which do not give you movement. So there is literally nothing I can do with the board in my first turn. I'm going to spend a total of four to buy two reinforcement cards. And that's purely because they have inbuilt ability to convert for one. And also they have one movement on them. So I'm going to put two of those in my discard pile. That does sadly mean that I'm not really doing anything with my first turn. And time is important. The top card of his deck gets destroyed. And it was the logic puzzle maneuver card. So not an auspicious start. Alright, let's try that again on turn two. We have all of our special cards plus the other bowl card. I'll get one Energon from playing Resupply. That gives us one movement. Uh, the Scout gives us one other movement. Also gives us the ability to go diagonally. And we can flip an adjacent card face up. So let's do that and just see what's next to us. It is a kill shot maneuver card. That's pretty good. We have two movement. I can also play Patch to get another movement. So we still have two left in total. And we're allowed to move diagonally. Um, two left in total. Let's go down to this one diagonally for one and flip that. And we've accidentally already found Race to the Matrix Cooperative Scheme. So we did see that last time. If a boss is on the table, it's going to start moving towards us. And if they reach it, we lose the ability to get the leadership, uh, Matrix of Leadership. It only hurts Autobots and we're playing as Decepticons this time. So it's actually not too terrible of a thing. But we wouldn't mind getting the Matrix. And Galvatron gets the Matrix in the movie, so it would still be thematically apt. To thwart, you need to pay 9 power, which is pretty bad. We're going to need to get a lot stronger. Uh, with the two cards I have left, uh, I'm going to buy one more reinforcement card. I've never bought so many of them before, but I know we need movement. And we need to just put it in our deck as soon as possible. So that's what we're going to do. And that also, unfortunately, means the top card of the deck gets destroyed again. No, it doesn't, because it's a planet super early. Well, unfortunately, that means Unicron is appearing. I'm going to put this one down in the bottom right of the table, so it's the row you can't quite see. That means Unicron appears, so I'm going to put him as far away as possible. And I'm just going to remind myself if you immediately draw a Chaos card. Of course you do. It tells you on the card. <laughs> on reveal, co-op mode only. Activate Unicron. Now, last time I was doing a double activation because the rulebook says when Unicron appears on the board, you do a card. I think to try and balance it a bit better, I'm only if it's on the draw of a planet, we're only pulling one Chaos card because he was getting around the board a bit too quickly last time, I feel. So he is moving two this time. One, two. Heading towards Florin three. You can pay three power on it to move target character in the space and adjacent space. That's not that interesting. And uh, we don't have much to fight him off with. Although Galvatron himself has the ability to, so maybe we can take advantage of that. Here is my new hand, filled with those reinforcement cards, and our flight card, and a resupply. So we'll get one Energon for that resupply for a start. We have two movement, and we can get another two if we need it. With that flight card, we can also flip an adjacent. I'm going to flip this card here. 
It's an Autobot, but we don't get ambushed because we're not on it. But that's going to become a Herald. Green light. Um, okay, I want to get that maneuver card. So we're going to play the two reinforcement cards, which give me two more movement and two power. And we're going to get another two from the artillery, which is the four required to purchase kill shot. Put that into our discard pile. We still have one movement left with flight. Uh, but I'm going to move over here anyway. I don't think Unicron's going to make it to the planet in this turn. He is, however, as he activates, going to turn green light into a herald. So I can't attack him until that's dead. And we fill up the matrix. Sorry, forgot that part. And Unicron moves. He moves one. Well, bloop. Like that. Down. At least he's not going after me this time. And this turn, I'm only going to have two movement to play with. One from the reinforcement card, one from the patch. I'm also going to play one Energon to dump one of the basic attack cards, get that discarded. So that means we have two movement and three power to play with. We're going to move adjacent to the planet, flip that card. It is Decimus. He's an ally, but he's also a robot. Um, well, we can't get him this turn, unfortunately. I think because he's a robot, even though he's an ally, that means he also becomes a herald. So I'll put a token on him, although I'm probably going to buy him next turn anyway. Like that. And hopefully don't draw the four. We drew the two. So let's just go one, two. Unicron is making it to the planet on his next card draw, but I'm close enough to hopefully do something about it. Well, annoyingly, this is almost a fantastic hand to attack Unicron just to lower his strength value. Down one pip, because I almost have seven. Obviously not enough to beat him, but enough to hurt him. Either way though, we're going to have how much movement in total? We're going to have a grand movement value of 1. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to spend 3 bold cards and a reinforcement to buy Decimus. Get rid of that Herald token for a start. Buy the ally, he gets put into play. Does he even give me anything decent? At the start of my turn, I can discard 2 cards with at least plus 1 power each to gain Energon equal to that total. Might be useful. Either way, he's in play with me, which means he's not helping Unicron. We have one movement, and I want to stay adjacent to this planet, so I'm actually not going to use it. We're going to sit still, because I want to try and support. We'll get some kind of card from our, um, our draw, which should help us defend the planet. But, for now, this fills up, like that. And I am going to have to draw my new hand. I keep forgetting that you draw your new hand... At the end of your turn, when everything's sorted, two, three, four, five, because that's what you use to do assists. Usually, assists don't matter because if you're playing solo, you can't assist. But in this mode, it does matter. So, technically, I have to show my hand here if we know that I'm going to be defending against Unicron. And we know, I hope this is the four because it's just going to be wasting a bunch of his extra movement. It is, that's really good. Obviously, he makes it to the planet, he attempts to consume it at consume value zero. So, as long as I assist with something, it stops him. So, it has to be range 1, and it can't be Galvatron himself because it's not a battle, it's an assist. Reinforcements card, and because I only need 1 power at range 1, it's fine. Although this can actually become 2 on an assist if you play, pay 1 Energon. So I'll discard that card to stop him, boop him back 1, 2, 3. Now it's important to remember, there's another planet already on this board, because that was from the deck. So, there's another planet to find, and that's awkward. It's not going to be a great turn. I'm going to gain one Energon and one move. I'm going to pay that one Energon to dump one of these bold cards, get it out of my deck. And that means we have two movement and one power to play with. I'm going to flip the card I'm on, see what it is. It is a maneuver with the universal greeting, Bow Weep, Ground and Weep, Ninibon on it. Two power, one movement, and it's a blocking card. That's pretty good. It costs three. I'll be able to afford that next turn, but if I stay here, that means something's getting destroyed. I can't really do anything about it. I'm probably going to have to defend the planet one more time. So, sure. We know Unicron can't make it back there in one card draw. So, we don't need to worry about that. But top card of the deck gets destroyed. Time running out. There goes Death from Above Maneuver card. Two maneuvers have been destroyed. Unicron card is... <laughs> he almost got... Wait, no, he did get there. That's three. One, two... I forgot there was another three card. So, I do need to draw my new hand. One, two, three. I'm going to need to shuffle. But in the cards I've drawn, there is enough. Uh, I'm going to have to pay the one Energon to turn this into a two, unfortunately, because one is not good enough. It's a one power card, and you have to beat it in this case, I think. So, I'll pay one Energon to make that a two. 
and destroy, well, destroy him. Force him back, one, two, three again, just to try and stop him. Now I have to shuffle my deck and draw my other uh, two cards. So minus the card I defended with, here is what we've got to play with. A total of one movement with flight. Well, let's make use of what I wanted to do first. I am going to purchase, well, that's four I put down, sorry, there's three right there. I will purchase Universal Green because it seems pretty good. It has movement on it, so Galvatron wants it. And that means we have one movement with flight and two power left. I don't think there's another three card, so I think I can afford to move and then get back at the end of my next turn. I'm going to move this way because I want to beat up the Autobot. So we're going to move there. We repopulate the empty space. Unicron activates. It shouldn't be a three. It's one. Perfect. Now he is definitely going to make it back on his next card draw because we've... Wait, have we drawn the zero move card yet? We haven't. There's two left in the deck, so one of them is the zero. I have no idea what the other value is though. Well, with the shadow cast over Unicron again, here is my hand. I only need three to beat green light, so we're going to play this. It gives us one movement to get onto green light. It also means I can P1 Energon to get rid of a starter I control, which I'm going to. And that means we have three power left and two move actually. I forgot that these have move. So we have three going in. We're going to get ambushed and then we're going to murder them, hopefully, unless it says I'm not allowed to. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a starter, gain one damage, otherwise destroy it. I hope it's a starter. It is a starter, so it was a starter, so you gain one damage. I, get, I presume you put it back on the deck then, and gain one damage. Now I forgot last time that certain, oh, perfect example. A couple of the damage types, I think they were the original two damage types, are actually ongoing, so you don't keep putting them in your discard pile. It doesn't affect last time, I think, because most of the damage types we got are the ones which are not ongoing. So, I mean, we still lost either way anyway. But this does actually stay in play, because it's ongoing like allies, which is a, uh, a thing kept on forgetting last time. But only for that type and the one that has superior on it, whatever that one's called. So anyway, we have three power left over. I'm beating this Herald in combat. And I'm allowed to draw a card, actually, so I'm going to draw that card anyway. And one VP, which doesn't matter, so she'll just go into discard. And we know it is the drawn Energon. Gives me plus one more move, though. I'll draw an Energon. Uh, is that enough movement in total? I used one to get over there, so I had one left over. Now I have two. So yeah, I'm going all the way back over there. And the idea for that is to once again try and defend the planet. Although I think that... Does that Blast Wind give me minus one assist? No, you have to have two of them. Alright, let's see if he's making it. I hope it's the zero move. It is the zero move. He's going to make it on the next draw, though, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least two. So here's my new hand, and I was totally forgetting Galvatron's plus two just for fighting, so we comfortably beat that Autobot there. Um, we have our patch, so I'm going to return Blast Wound to the deck, and then that gives us one movement. Other than that, we have uh, three, four, five power, and three more movements. So we have four movement in total. Let's flip the card we're on, see if it's a boss. Nope, it's the maneuver card combine. Uh, sorry, yeah, it is combine. Uh, it's only worth two. Oh, I'll buy that for two, why not? It's better than a standard card, barely. So, sure. Now, we know Unicron is getting over to us this round, so I think, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to sit here now. Yeah, yep, that's what I'm going to do. We'll have to draw a new hand, see if I can fight him off. That card comes out. Matrix! Discard my hand, draw a new hand. He gets to go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to be able to fight him off. we got artillery. That should hopefully be enough in a single player game. Let's see. Yep, he is one plus one for every player, so two strength. One, two. I shall play artillery and blast him at range one. And knock him back three again. One, two, three. Yeah, this is much more manageable when you actually have uh, attack cards that are decent. So there's the other four cards I have after that. Unfortunately, we have... Two movement with diagonal. I think I'm going to abandon the plan at this point because I need to go looking for other cards to get stronger. So we're going to move diagonally here and flip this because I think that's still a starter. I was incorrect because that is the Autobot boss. It is Roadbuster. Whoops. Reveal a attack, discard one ally you control, then gain one damage. Well, goodbye, Decimus. You're out of there. Gain one damage. 
Uh, that is putting your discard pile, and yeah, that's, that's one that does not stay on the table. Adversary players who didn't discard, well, it doesn't count. Uh, ongoing, draw one fewer card at the end of your turn. That's real bad. Only need six to kill him, but this turn I have... Oh, thanks to Galvatron, I have more, actually. We can get to... Hang on, if you confront with the kill shot, you may play this card after all other cards, including exist, uh, assists, and the adversary is still not defeated. If the card defeats the adversary in this way, you gain one VP. Oh, that doesn't really matter. We can get to three. We can get to four. Galvatron gives us two more. I might as well confront, because we have six on the dot. It's exceptionally likely not to kill him, because chances are the card is going to give him more points. But hey, I might as well try. Add one to the advers adversary's cost for each Energon you control. If it's two or fewer, also gain two damage. Arg, I have two. Could I have used that Energon to buff anything? Uh, not really, no. Nope, I wouldn't have spent it on anything. Unfortunate. Two damage it is then, that sucks. That goes into discard pile, and that goes into play. Well, that is rough. I need to draw a new hand, but first of all, let's see where Unicron's moving, because I'm not going to be able to stop him if it's a big move. Nope. One, two. He is going to eat the planet at the end of his next turn, though, unless it's the zero move draw. Here is my new hand. We did draw one of those Teacog gems. I'm not allowed to convert, but hey, gun form is pretty good for Galvatron. We're going to gain one Energon and one move that I might use afterwards, depending on how this goes. And we're just going to attack Roadbuster again, try and kill him. So we have three, four, uh, and then it only goes to six again with Galvatron. Um, yeah, there's nothing much else I can do with these, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just try it. We'll try six into him again. Is it enough? Destroy one card you control with cost 3 plus. If you control none, gain 2 damage instead. If blocked, destroy the block card. Well, unfortunately, Universal Greeting is 3 plus, so that's going to take away 2 of our power. But I weep Grand and weep Dead, <laughs> and that means he lives. If you destroy it, okay, you don't actually gain damage. That was if you block it, you gain damage instead. But unfortunately, that means the <laughs> Autobot lives again. That sucks. And Unicorn's going to eat this planet. Almost certainly, unless this is the zero. I did shuffle his deck again, because I prefer doing that way. Oh, perfect. Get the big move out of the way. Nice. So he's going to move over here. He eats uncontested, because I can't stop him. Florian 3, whatever it's called, becomes... Space Debris. Right here. And Unicron's difficulty goes up to 17 power, which is rough. But if I can actually get this boss killed, it'll go right back down to 16. Oh, I totally forgot at the end of that last turn a couple of things. One, I should have drawn one card fewer, so it should have only been four, but we didn't kill him anyway. And uh, there was no space in the Matrix for two turns, so two of these need to get destroyed. Star Screams Ghost? Nope. That comes in Chaos Unleashed, unfortunately. And an Autobot. Well, good riddance to that. So that covers us now up to date, I hope. And I'm once again going to try and fight, unfortunately. Um, and we're going to spend two energy on... Yeah, I'm going to make it happen this time. So we have two power by default because of Galvatron and we're fighting. This is three. I'm going to pay two to make my target starter card have plus two power. We'll cover that in a second. So we're up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because this is going to have the plus two. Nine. No way a tier one boss is beating nine. No way. Destroy one robot you control if you control none. Do I have anything classed as a robot currently? I actually don't. If you control none, gain two damage instead. If blocked, you would destroy the card. Well, I'm going to take the two damage and kill him. So this is fear, uh, when gain, put in discard pile. Going to have to start getting those healed again. And that goes into discard pile as well. But, tier one boss, destroyed. We're not using standard runes, since we're using planetary runes. That's just my choice. And we gain nothing from that. But, because of playing this particular mode, Unicron back down to this default since we beat the tier 1 boss. On that note, there's no planets on the table. Uh, did I have any movement from those cards? I had one movement. I'm going to move up here <laughs> because Unicron is now going to be chasing me again because there's no planets for him to go after currently. He's going to move two. Bum bum. Up there. Scary. Oh, I refilled the space in the matrix however. I did forget that boss should have moved on to here so it absolutely would have happened. So if it reaches this space, destroy the scheme, all Autobots would take one damage, Galvatron's not an Autobot. So this actually did disappear as well, 
which means one of the potential routes to getting the Matrix of Leadership is out of there, but that will just put another card there instead. And we'll carry on as normal. Uh, my hand, I did get a damage card, which means I can't transform. I'm going to let that one ride and use Patch to clear the Blast Wound that's in play to get rid of at least some damage. So, because that one will go away into my discard pile at the end of the turn. So that means we have one move so far with the cards I have. We'll play Flight to give us two with Flight. We can flip an adjacent space. I'm going to flip top right behind Unicron. It's the maneuver card team effort. Okay, so that means we still have two movement because that was free. I can get us this three movement by playing this card. So we have three movement. Let's flip the one we're on, move and flip that. It's a Decepticon, it's Ramjet. We want him. Can I afford him? Yes, there's three. I'll buy Ramjet before he gets turned into a herald. And we still have enough movement to come here and flip this. Can't do anything with it though. Uh, it's an Autobot. It's Chromia. Arg. All right, well, we get ambushed by Chromia. Please don't give me more damage. It's happening again. We're just we're getting too much damage in my deck. No adversaries can be battled this turn. Perfect. That is totally fine. Fill up the empty space. Unicron chases me because there's no planets. He's moving zero. Double fine because that gives... Oh, and he makes her a herald, but I was going to fight her. Oops. Fight her this round anyway. Unicron is drunk. There, he's still stuck all the way over there, twiddling his thumbs. New turn, unfortunately drew another TCOG gem, so I can't convert, even though I have a card that would let me convert for free, which is, well, there's no need to convert as Galvatron until I have a bunch of Decepticons in my deck, and so far we've got one just now. Let's beat up Chromia, and just, yeah, we'll just fight her, and we can easily get them out with Galvatron, but she gets a hit off on us. Lose one VP if you have none, discard a card instead. Technically, in solo mode, you're not supposed to have VP, so I will discard my... How much do we need to beat her? Four. I will discard my flight card then, because it's the only way I keep... F oh, wait, no, we have two powers, Galvatron. I'll get rid of a uh, reinforcements card. No, wait, the combined card. The combined card. Sure. So we discard that. Two power on Galvatron. I'll throw in kill shot. That gives us the four. That gives us a dead Chromia. Get out of there. We have two movement, including flight, so I can go diagonally. Let's go diagonally. No, let's not. Let's go into the top corner and flip that. It's an ally. It's the Reapers. Ongoing. Gain one damage and discard this card. You pay three less to battle an adversary during your turn. Adversary, not a confrontation, so it wouldn't count against the boss, sadly. That's pretty pricey, and that's going to be our turn, I think. Yep. So, fill up the Matrix. And Unicron moves after me. He moves one. Well, that is the shortest route to get to roughly where I am. Well, we're not going to be battling the boss this turn, although actually we can, because I can get rid of, not that we're planning on it, but I'll use the heal, obviously, to get rid of the damage we drew, get it out of the deck. It provides us one movement, and then we're left with these three, which, well, we've got two movement on Ramjet as well, actually, and one on reinforcement, so that's four movement in total. So let's make use of that. We'll move here for one, flip it for two. It's unfortunately an Autobot. So we still have two movement left after this is done, but that's going to be an ambush on us, unfortunately. Gain one damage. Alright then. Our one damage is another fear card to go into the discard pile. Now he's only power two, and Galvatron gets power two at range one, and he can use that for battling. I don't remember if you have to put in damage. Like, he has enough on him just to kill it, because it's two power, so... Sure, we'll, we'll just do that. And we still have two movement left. I'm going to come down here and flip this. Technology. Ooh, you can buy an adversary robot this turn if you play that card. That would have been interesting back when I was murdering Autobots. I'm still going to buy it though because it's got a two power card and they're just good. So, yeah, I've already put Ramjet in play for the movement. So he covers the cost of that. So let's buy that. Start making the deck a little bit better. And we don't have enough movement to do anything else, frustratingly. So, I'm going to buy another Reinforcements card and end my turn there. So that all gets discarded. We fill up two spaces in the Matrix this time. The second tier boss has got to be on the table already. And Unicron is coming after me because I've been bad at finding planets again. And unfortunately, he's getting to me. Boom. One, two, three. I don't have a... Oh, I might have a block card. Hang on. I have to draw my new hand. Do I have a block card? 
I do. Now I need to check if you still get shoved if you block. But I do have a block card so I want to use it but let me go double check. Yep, you do still get pushed and then at that point you do the ambush card so I'll have to block this. Destroy one relic you control or in your discard pile if you cannot gain two damage. Yep, yeah, I'll definitely be blocking that. So the reinforcements card is used up as the block, unfortunately. And that means our hand is somewhat limited. We have three bolds and a resupply. Well, great. We uh, will gain one energy on, obviously, just by playing that. It gives us one movement. I guess I'll flip the card I'm on, because we're not going to get away from Unicron anyway. It's a planet. On reveal, activate Unicron or resolve a Chaos card. Start of turn, gain two Energon or destroy one card you control, then resolve an Ambush. This is the planet where I want him to eat it, because it's terrible. Well, he's going to move on to it, so... Yep. One, and push us away, and he's going to try and consume it. Will I stop him? Can I stop him? I don't have any range ones on my cards, and this is happening outside of his turn so I don't get a new hand. I actually can't stop him. Yeah, he just eats it. So he's back up to 17. We get a planetary rune. It's more space debris. And Unicron is feasting tonight. So that's gone. That planet is terrible though. That that one deserves to be eaten. I'm glad it happened. Oh yeah, that since that happened out of sequence I presume you still do Unicron's separate turn. I've drawn a new hand and I got two TCOG uh, jams. So honestly, this waste of a turn is pretty good for this to happen in. He's definitely reaching me because we've drawn the zero cost already. Yep, so he comes over here, he boops me. Um, let's get booped up there, actually. I know it's behind him, so it's a bit awkward, but I think those cards have been there since the start, so they should be relatively safe. And we draw an ambush card. Lose one VP if you have none, gain one damage. I shall play the reinforcements card to block that. And that leaves us not very much to do on this turn, so it's going to be real quick. Uh, when that last turn finished, I think the Matrix was filled, right? So the top card should have got destroyed. Oh, and it was the other way to get the Matrix of Leadership, so, well, Galvatron ain't getting it this time. Uh, for my actual very, very short turn, we have one movement. I'm going to flip the thing I'm on, see what it is. Ooh, it's a good technology. Costs five, though. Well, there's nothing else I can do with that. And we have nothing else to play with. So, we'll just end our turn. I have to draw a new hand, and then Unicorn's going to smack us again. Three, four, five. Unfortunately, I also need to shuffle his deck. We still have another Reinforcements card, so I have a block. As it turns out, those are really, really valuable, because they're an unlimited, essentially supply of block cards but they're not super great for power that's the problem unless we draw the zero card nope unicron makes it onto us i'm gonna get booped this way this time and we draw the encounter card lose two energon i'll take that i'll take the losing the two energon so we have zero energon now um, give me a second to think about what I want to do with my turn, but this is my hand. Just to prove that I have it drawn already. So I think I should have been keeping track of the Energon on these space runes, because the runes actually do disappear once the Energon is clear. Uh, by my rough count, I think this one is disappearing at the end of my current turn, or the turn I just did, because I think that's been five. So that will be getting removed in a second. In terms of what we're doing, we're gaining one, uh, we're gaining two Energon, rather, from Resupply, because I have zero. That gives us one movement, Flight gives us one movement plus diagonal action, and we have one more movement on a reinforcement card. So we have three in total, I'm going to flip, move flip is my plan. Oh, that might have just changed because we found another Decepticon and it's a really, really good one. I can't get to four this turn. That means we're going to have to come back. Or, no, we can make, oh, if I transform into bot form. Yeah, the reinforcements card allows me to convert. I will. Why am I doing that? Because on Galvatron's robot side, he's allowed to battle Decepticons. And I will pay... Oh, I don't have a robot to buff him. Oh no, we're doing a confront. So I can get plus two power at range one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to pay for it, but it costs two. So I'll do that, which means we have a total of two, three, four, five power. 
So I'm battling this Decepticon rather than just claiming him, so I had to do a bit of extra work. But he is claimed. And, oh, I presume that would mean he gets an ambush off on us then, because we're attacking him. So let's quickly, I'm going to have to shuffle the encounter deck. So now I'm seeing the advantage for Galvatron being able to do that. If you, because he can gain more power when attacking than he can when buying. So I get it now. Lose to Energon. Well, I had none to lose, and it says there's no other stuff for it. So yep, we're going to claim. Then when you get the card this way, you choose to put it in your vault in your discard. Obviously, I'm putting it in my discard because we want him on our team. And we had one movement left, I think. We had three in total. I flipped. Oh no, we have two. I'll move over here, flip this. It's a planet. It's Junkion. Oh, that's a good planet. Weird Owl lives there. On reveal, activate Unicron. The first time you move on to this card this turn, gain one energy on. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, pay two move and one power. Gain one card with cost two to five from the destroyed pile. That's pretty interesting. But I think Unicron's about to eat it. So let's see. Oh, he moves zero. We have a chance. I actually want Junkion to stick around, so that is handy uh, at the end of my turn. Oh wait, but he's about to activate again. The only upside is I'm drawing a new hand, so I'll hopefully get a block or a, a good card for assisting. Well, you could say this isn't exactly a great hand. Um, I wouldn't be allowed to move on to the boss, but he's certainly allowed to move on to me, and I can't transform back into cannon form, so that sucks as well. But uh, technically this is still the end of the previous turn. This is my new hand drawn. Unicron gets to move and he is making it to Junkion. So doop doop. And he is attacking it for power one. Thankfully I have the means by which to assist with power one pretty easily. I'll just do the combine because it's the weakest card in my hand. And we'll cast Unicron. Oops, one, two, three. We'll cast him up there. Also, I think the space debris is cleared now. I'm pretty sure that's been five turns. So I'll just put that to one side up there and that means there is a card that was originally on the table now gettable on my turn though that doesn't leave us much one movement three power I'll move down here flip this no I can only move down there I can't even flip it well I will use my one energy on to convert transform back into cannon form because I still don't have enough Decepticons in my deck to stay in robot form really so that turns over end of that turn Unicron moves again He's moving one. Oop, moving towards Junkion. I, and again, I don't... Well, is there any robots in the discard pile I want? Does it say any card? So I could technically take Autobots from the destroyed pile. Yeah, it's only Autobots. There isn't really anything in there I desperately need, I think. Here is my new hand. Of course, I keep drawing those singular damage cards, but hey, I can finally get rid of one of them for a while. Also, what was I forgetting to mention there? Oh yeah, obviously there is like rung in the discard pile, but it has to be a cost two to five and it costs eight. So same with Starscream's Ghost, so I can't afford either of them. Uh, so we played that, it's gonna give us one movement. We're gonna get two more movement from Ramjet. So we're gonna flip what we're on, see what was here. It's one of the Constructicons. I love the Constructicons, especially powerful ones with three movement, long haul. Welcome to the team, buddy. I'm gonna waste one power. We've got six power to play with in total. We're spending four to immediately recruit him for sure. Thank you very much. That is really good. So we have two power left and two movement. Ah, uh, two movement, huh? We're gonna go one, two, and we're gonna move here. Unicron is gonna get to attack this turn for sure, so I'm gonna have to draw my new hand, because that's the end of my turn, and we're gonna have to try and defend Junkion. One, two, three, four, five. I drew a terrible hand. <laughs> oh wow, that is that is just plain awful. But hey, three block cards. Oh, he's power three this time though. He only moves one, haha, -ha, he doesn't reach. I'm moving him this way, I can choose if it's equidistant, so I'm gonna make him not walk onto me and attack me obviously. But hey, that means I'm about to have a real sucky turn. So as I start my proper turn with three of these in hand and two damage cards, uh, forgot to refill the matrix, so that goes there. I think it's been five turns since this space debris was there, so that's gone as well, uh, up there. And that means that will have refilled from the matrix too. I want to hang around Junkion. We have three movement to play with and three power, and that's it. So I'll flip what just came out of the matrix, see what it is. It is a good card, 
that I can't afford. I, I'm not as likely to draw a decent defense card. I want that card though. I'm going to have to. Yeah, we're just going to burn a turn. And draw a new hand. Do Unicron's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have a defense card of some variety? Oh, I actually don't. That's a terrible hand. Nothing has range. Sunstorm is, has two power, but he's got zero range. I'll need to double check the rules for assisting a planet. It might not have to be a ranged card. Like As long as you're adjacent to the planet, you might count as being able to assist it. I'll double check how it's worded, because there's no way he's not making it. Yeah, He's only attacking it at consume power one as well, because zero plus one for me. Uh, okay, I'm going to go double check, otherwise Junkion is doomed. You know, I'm afraid to say, pour one out for Junkion. It's, it, I couldn't see anything specifically for special rules for assisting a planet. So it must go by just the core rulebook, which is you have to provide a card that has the range on it if you're helping it range. So, Planetary Ruin. It's the Gravity Well. Characters adjacent to the space are moved onto the space and you pay one additional move to leave it. That's really bad for Galvatron, unfortunately, especially because Unicron is sitting there as well. So, oh yeah, and he moves up to 18 power, which is also real bad. So for my turn I have the fear card which doesn't allow me to move on to the boss however I would have to play this and I just play it before anything else so this start of turn kicks in first so I actually am on the boss here. I need to spend two movement to move away but we have a total of four, five sorry, five movement across these three cards. So there's five movement right there including giving me two energon because we have zero. So we have five movement, that's two so we have three left. And I can't get to five power. So we have three left. We're going to move there, flip this. It's cloaking tech for three. I can afford that. I'll buy it. And then we have one more movement left. I'll move over here. I want to get far away from Unicron because we have no planets on the table now. And there's only two left entirely. So I think that covered everything. He might make it to me, so I might have to draw my new hand now, but hey, let's check first. <clears throat> oh, I have to repopulate. Yeah, he's making it to me. <laughs> repopulate the deck. One, two, three. He made it to me. So, I'm going to have him boot me... Um, well, I should have my hand by now, so actually... Let me see what I'm dealing with before I decide which way he's booping me. Movement is going to be a big issue. Yep. Big issue. Well, how much power am I going to get, though? Yeah, I'm going to have them shove me this way then. Ambush card. No adversaries can be battled in this player turn. Okay. I'll take that. I was going to block it, but I will just take that. This is my hand. It's going to be a real quick turn. We have two movement from the reinforcements card in the combine, and we have a total of two, three, four, five, six power. I am going to use one movement to move here. It's five power to buy it. We have one movement left and I'm going to come down here just to try and put a bit of space between us and Unicron. We are running out of cards. The second boss is absolutely here somewhere. The third boss will be showing up. Cybertron will be showing up. It's getting a bit dicey, uh, unfortunately. And let's see what he's doing. It's the last card before I have to shuffle his deck again. He's moving two, one, two. He isn't affected by the gravity well. So he is just hounding us. So my new hand is pretty decent. Oh, well, reasonably, especially if I'm in robot form, which I'm not currently, but I could certainly convert. So we're going to have a total of six, seven. We have seven movement. Let's use one to flip this. We have six left. Five, four left. It's a tier two boss. It's broadside. So how much did I say there? I have four left, but we're probably going to stay down here. So reveal attack. Reveal the top two cards of your deck and discard all revealed Decepticons, then resolve an ambush. First card. Not Decepticon, it's damage. Go in the discard pile. That ain't damage either. Or rather, ain't a Decepticon. Then resolve an ambush. Alrighty. Lose one VP if you have none. Discard one card instead. I mean, I'll just block it. It's the same as losing a card, essentially. Okay, so he's power eight. I want to murder him. Can we do this? What does, let me just double check Galvatron's text on his side. I can get two power on that side. Although he's getting two power on the side he's on anyway. So I think we're just going to go for it with him in his cannon form. And we'll fight broadside. So two power base on Galvatron. That puts us up to five. 
and there is six. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I want to do. Yeah, that's just six, seven, eight, nine. It's only one higher though. It's only one higher and I can't even spend energy on to make it better. We'll just have to go with that. I'll try it and see if nine is enough to kill him. Add X to the adversary's cost, where X is the highest cost car, uh, the highest cost of a non-boss card currently in the Matrix. That would be five. So unfortunately, he gets to live. That sucks. Well, I'm going to have to draw a new hand because I think Unicron is making it to us as well. So he's going to boop us off for the boss, which is especially bad. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how far he's moving. Please just be a one or a zero. Uh, he's making it onto us. Which means I can't kill the boss, or can't even fight the boss next turn. Do we have it? Oh, it was a bad hand anyway. So, I have to put fear into play anyway, but he's going to boop us. I'm going to get booped over here so I'm not in the gravity well. We get ambushed. Destroy one relic, otherwise gain two damage. I shall play my reinforcements card to block that. And then we're going to have a real bad turn. So, here's what I have other after playing the fear card. Also, at the start of turn, if you have two or more energon, gain one damage. If you have four more energon, gain two damage. I have two, so unfortunately I have to get a damage card. Ugh, that's another Teacog, I need to shuffle that deck better. Well, what shall we do with that? Let's pay one Energon to convert into bot form so that that card's not going to hurt us right now, which means I'm not going to use the optional gain Energon on this, I'm just going to use it for the movement. And we have two movement with flight and two power. Rough. Uh, let's move to the bottom corner, so we'll move one to have Unicron chase us away so I can move back onto the Autobot boss and confront him, so I think that's unfortunately my best option. Um, yeah, so we'll see how Unicron moves, that is not great, we are running out of time more so than being at risk of death. It's the four move one, so he's well actually that might be okay, let me draw my new hand then because we need it. Cause I keep... oh, those reinforcement cards really are coming in handy. So he makes it to us. I'm going to have him boop me this way. And let's see what the ambush is. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a starter, gain one damage. Otherwise, destroy it. I'll take that risk. Destroy it. Unfortunate. That's a good card as well. And that means during our turn, I have no means by which to kill Broadside this turn, unfortunately. T-Cog, so I can't convert. But we have one, two... We have five movement. I'll flip what we're on, see what it is. It's an Autobot. Arg. Uh, I will... Well, let's see what his ambush attack is, because I can block it. Lose one VP if you have none, gain one damage. I'll just block it with the other reinforcement card. And we still have plenty of movement, so I'm going to move back on to Broadside. We're not confronting him, because I can't take him on this turn. And that is going to be my turn. We are... Very low on time over there. Unicron is moving zero. Perfect. Hopefully I can get the boss killed this next turn. Well, it's not exactly great, but I'm still going to give it a go. <clears throat> so. I'll pay my one Energon to convert into gun form, because that gives us two power innately. That's three power. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine versus eight. Let's do it. Add one to his cost for each Energon you control. If this is two or fewer, also gain two damage. It's zero, so we beat him, but it cost me two damage again, which sucks. That goes into play and stays in play. And that's the other one that goes into play and stays in play. Oof. Thank goodness we're not in bot mode, but that is rough. However, we beat the second tier boss. He only gives VP, so we don't gain anything there. Unicron gets knocked back down to his default of 16. 16 still feels like such a ridiculous amount to try and get to though, but if we can get at least 7 we can try and fight him, if nothing else. Oh, I've been forgetting to destroy cards, right? We should have destroyed one last time. And was it only the one because I moved? On the turn I fought him, one should have got destroyed, and the one where I moved into the corner, one should have got destroyed. Oh, I just have to got destroyed. Oh well. But, this time, something populates. So that's not so bad. And then Unicron comes to eat us. Two. He's almost there. One, two. He's on us. Well, here is my hand, and I think I'm going to do something very silly. I think I'm going to attack Unicron. 
with the uh, the the plan by which to spend at least seven power because we actually have that right here to just do him damage and bring him lower than his default. Uh, we have plenty of movement because Ramjet gives two and the patch gives one. So I'm going to flip the card I'm on first just in case that influence. Oh wait, I get sucked into the gravity well. So now we need two movement to leave it. And Ramjet has flight, so we can still get over to Unicron, but I'm going to have to not flip that card. Totally forgot about that. So, we're doing a confrontation, a boss confrontation. So I think it's the same you do by the... You still go by the boss confrontation text. And there's five Galvatron puts in two for six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously not enough to kill him, because you need 18 right now to kill him. But that isn't the point of why we're doing this. Destroy one card with cost 3 plus you control. If you control none, gain 2 damage instead. Ah, it's going to be Ramjet or the gun. The gun is really powerful, but Ramjet has tons of movement. Which is kind of important. No, at this point we're fighting him. So unfortunately Ramjet is going to have to get destroyed. That's, that's really rough. But, because we did at least 7, we get to lower the threshold. We do Unicron some damage. And he's down to needing 15 to be defeated now, which is a little bit more manageable. And I can tell you for sure Unicron is going to be booping us. Uh, yep, he's on us, so you still have to draw the card as far as I'm aware. I'm going to get booped onto here, which means I'm going to get stuck on the gravity well. Lose to Energon, okay. I had zero, I now have zero again. And here is my hand. We're up to three damage in hand currently, thanks to that. So we're getting near lose conditions, although that obviously goes away, that one. We're going to gain two Energon on resupply because I need some now. And we have a total of three movement with flight. So we're going to use two of it to leave the gravity well and flip this. It is a maneuver card that only costs two and has two movement on it. Well, I'll purchase it with a two power from there. Because hey, it's got movement on it and Galvatron really suffers for that. So sure, card comes out of the matrix, goes on there. That card goes into discard and Unicron comes after us. He doesn't get to us. He's behind us by one. So that's not so bad. Well, I was going to say that wasn't so bad. In fact, I think I did say that. But I actually can't play any cards this turn. Because if I do, I lose. I have three damage cards in my hand. Which you must play first. If I play these three, I have two that always stay in play currently. That would be five and that means we lose. The only way to avoid that happening is to not play any cards and skip your turn because these go back into the discard. So I'm having to do that. That's terrible. Uh, I have to draw a new hand as well because Unicron is definitely going to reach us. So let me just quickly shuffle these. But that's how close we are to losing. It's, it's that bad and we don't have that many turns left either. So it's going to be a full finish. There's still two planets to find but I don't actually think that's going to be what it comes down to this time. I think it's going to come down to us timing out if I don't kill Unicron. So, there's my other three cards on top of those. So there's my hand. And Unicron, he's reaching us, because even if it's a one, he's reaching us. Yep. Oops. So he's on us. Where do I want him to shove me? I'm going to have him shove me over here. And I need to shuffle the ambush cards again. We're going through the encounter cards really quick. doesn't help that I only have the ones from War for Cybertron, I guess. I need to get the other ones. Lose one VP if you have none. Discard one card instead. I mean, that's basically the same as, you know, we'll just discard one of the basic bolts into the deck there. On our turn, we have three movement thanks to Sunstorm, which is pretty good. Three movement, I'll flip the card I'm on. It's Swoop. It's a stinky Autobot. Oh yeah, it's on that point. Oh wait, I shouldn't have been able to attack Unicron because I didn't kill Slug. So Slug would have been a Herald, which means I wouldn't have been able to attack Unicron. Uh, I'll just boom back up to 18. Or uh, 16, sorry, is the fault. I should not have been able to do that because there was a Herald. And there's going to be another Herald in a second, probably. So he ambushes us and then I'm going to attack him. So he's going to do it again. Reveal the top card of your deck if it's a starter, gain one damage. Otherwise, destroy it. It's a starter, I gain one damage. Oh no, it stays in play. Oh, we might actually damage ourselves out. And I'm attacking him to kill him, so... With the blaster, so he gets to attack us again. Lose one VP if you have none, gain one damage. Well, that goes in the discard pile at least. Swoop is destroyed. 
a peek at an adjacent card in the matrix. I'm just going to leave that flipped up. It's a good card. We had one. <laughs> it got discarded. But I've used up my only... Wait, no. How much movement did I have? I have three. And I used up one to flip him. So... Yeah, I can still afford it. So we still have two movement left. And that's four there. So I'll buy this card as well. But... If I draw a hand that has two damage in it... I either have to keep skipping my turns... Or... We just lose. How many cards are left here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, literally the last five. That means the third boss is here somewhere for sure. Uh, let me just draw my next hand because we'll see what kind of turn I have because it might just be a skip. We didn't draw any damage cards, so there is that, if nothing else. Unicron is moving three, so he's getting on to us. I'm going to have myself shove back this way, see what the damage is. Lose two Energon, I'll take that. I'll lose the two Energon so I can have a turn now. Let me think what I'm going to do with it though. Well, unfortunately we just have an absolute ton of movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven movement, so let's bring that down to six by flipping this. It's Octopunch, it's a Decepticon. Uh, we can afford to buy him, so sure, we can buy him. We'll use up four power there to buy him. We still have six movement left. So five, flip it for four. It's another Decepticon. Uh, we can't afford to buy him this turn. We'll go up here, flip this. It is Rust Giant Ally. Uh, after I spent the four to buy Octopunch, we have two left, not good enough. And we'll just end our turn up there, I guess. So now there's four turns remaining in the game. It's not looking good. Does Unicron meet us? Oh, you better believe he does. So I'm going to need to draw a new hand. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, I drew one damage card. And a bunch of reinforcements. So he makes it to us. I'm going to have ourselves knocked on to Ripper Snapper, who is now a Herald also. And Ambush. Destroy one card with cost two plus. You control if you control none. Gain one damage. Well, one of the reinforcement cards gets destroyed. I'll just put it back on the deck. Not going to bother blocking it because it's essentially the same effect. And it's going to be a quick turn, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I don't even have enough to, to buy him in these classes and adversary now. Damage card goes into play for the turn. That's just got four out of the five lose condition. We've got three movement. I'll move here, flip this. It's a maneuver. Again, two Energon from resupply and that's that that's my turn that's not great let's draw a new hand one two three four five i have two damage in my hand so i have to skip my turn or lose but let's see what unicron is doing first he's moving too so he reaches me one two let's get booped back up to ripper snapper and ambushed gain one damage is it put into play? Let's see. No. Discard pile. But, I have a healing card in here somewhere, but my turn rolls around. I guess I just skip, because I have to try and stay in it. If I play those cards, I lose. So if I play any cards, I lose. Uh, I immediately draw one for part of a new hand, and it's also damaged, so that doesn't bode well. But hey, let's see what kind of hand I draw. Let me just shuffle these real quick. Oh, at the end of that turn as well. The top card gets destroyed. Two, three, four. We didn't draw another damage card, so I actually can have a turn, but it's not like it's going to be a super great turn. So this gets destroyed. It was Alita 1. And it's Unicron's turn. He moves on to us. I guess I'll, we'll just swap places. Well, no, I'll get booped over here, actually. Gain one damage. Oh, we're in a loose condition now. It's very unlikely I'll ever draw a hand that doesn't have one damage with how many I've accrued. I have to skip this turn or I lose. I think we're just going to have to fold it and uh, throw in the towel. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I'd have to skip my turn again. Just out of curiosity's sake, let me draw a new hand. Yeah. 
three damage in that hand. So yeah, we're we're done. We'll we'll have to just concede there. Man, so once again the damage just went completely out of control. Although we were about to run out of time. There was three turns left. Oh, two Decepticons right at the bottom of the deck and a decent attack card as well. That sucks. That was some that would have been some great cards to get earlier in the game, but we kept running into all bots who kept I, I was killing them. We killed a bunch, but they just kept filling my hand and the only means we had to heal was one card in our deck, which kept getting bloated by the uh Damage cards, how much did we have? We had, we had, I think we had six, six damage cards in the, in the deck there. Two or three bold cards left over, and only one way by which to get rid of it. We didn't find anything else. Where was the planet that started on the deck, or in the deck rather? Because one of them started in the original six, there it was. Andromedon, right there. And Cybertron, oh there was the tier three boss, it was Impactor again. Grimlock was up there. Spark of Combination was up there. Oh, Galvatron himself was there as available card. That would have been really, really good. But so where? No, oh, there was Cybertron. Cybertron was down in the bottom right. The card that we placed down there. Probably still missed a couple of things. Like I forgot that because he's a herald, I shouldn't have attacked Unicron that one time. But it didn't change the outcome. This is a tough mode. I thought Galvatron would have had an easy time just because he is so focused on damage. But no, uh, gaining all those damage cards, I guess just filling the deck with reinforcement cards so you have a bunch of blocks. Although I tried to do that and it still didn't work. I don't know. I need some advice for this mode from anyone who's been successful at it because it is rough. I still want to beat it at some point, but uh, I'll just be playing it once in a blue moon. Maybe I'll need to look at specific characters, so I think we'll have an advantage in this mode, I guess. Although I thought Rodimus and Galvatron would be up there, but oh well. Thank you for watching. Those of you who do watch these weird non-miniature games I fit in every so often, thank you for doing so, and hopefully see you again in the future. Until then, ta-ta for now.